Are you working from home? Since COVID, the majority of our clients and viewers are doing some sort of hybrid working. We are about half an hour outside of London. So very traditionally, a lot of our clients before COVID would be in the office every single day. Now it seems to be a three, two split. So three days from home, two days in the office, or three days in the office, two days from home. So there is an element of hybrid working. Now this can cause problems because your desk set up in the office is perfect, as they say. There's ergonomic specialists, there's biomechanic specialists that come in and make sure that your desk is set up in the best position. When you go home, you haven't necessarily got anybody there to check that you're doing the right things. So today we are going to talk through exactly what your desk setup should look like, what are some of the common pitfalls and what you need to do to make sure that you're giving your body the best possible chance of staying in the best position long term and avoiding any issues with your desk setup. One of the biggest questions we have is when someone says, yeah, but you're going to tell me to go and spend thousands of pounds by a really snazzy chair and a really big desk. That's just not the case. There's very simple things we can do without having to break the bank or spend any money at all. Or make some micro adjustments to how your chair is positioned, your keyboard, mouse, screen, to ensure that your body's in the best position. And there's some other things I can recommend if you do want to spend some money as well. I'm Dr. Jeremy Andrews here, Doctor of Chiropractic at West Chiropractic in Surrey. So let's get into it. What is the best desk setup? Well, let me tell you this firstly. Let's dispel any myths sitting even if you're in the perfect position is terrible for your body they say sitting is the new smoking it does cause a lot of problems with your spine not necessarily your spine as well but also the rest of your body we are big active beings human beings if you look back to our cavemen they had big glute muscles big back muscles lots of extension taking pressure off your body we're now confined to much more desk work a lot of us work nine to five behind a desk and then we commute we travel we're sitting for 75, 80% of our waking time, which is not good for our bodies, sometimes even more. So we need to make sure that if you are gonna sit, that it's in the best position. I can't sit here and say to you, gotta stop sitting, gotta stop working. That's just unrealistic. You've gotta keep working. We've gotta keep sitting some parts, parts of the time. But if we are gonna sit, how can we get the best out of that? How can we make sure you are in the best position long term? So this is my desk set up here, all right? So the first thing is we wanna be looking at the chair that you're sitting in. These chairs, they're not great for long-term sitting. Uh, as chiropractors, we don't sit too long because we're obviously treating patients. Consultations, we will sit in chairs. These ones are good for us because they are, they're hard, they're robust. But if you are sitting down for long periods of time, you really need to have a pivot swivel chair that can be adjusted or raised up and down. So the first thing is you want to make sure that your back is touching the chair. So you see with this one, I'm actually leaning back. That's, that's not good. You need to make sure the back is upright like this. We're engaging that core, sort of sucking the tummy button in, just making sure that's staying in a good position. Let's start off with the screen and keyboard setup, and then we'll come back to the, the core through here okay so you need to make sure you've got a keyboard that can move back and forwards now with the keyboard your biggest low-hanging fruit or your easiest win is to bring that keyboard as close to you as possible what that's going to do is it's going to allow my shoulders to retract back like this my chin can then tuck back uh, tuck back like that it'll keep my shoulder blades in a good position taking pressure off my uh, shoulder muscles here now these muscles are called the upper trapezius they run from the top of the shoulder blade all the way into the back of the head cause shoulder pain headaches neck issues so it's really important that we try and keep those as relaxed as possible so bringing that keyboard close is good bringing the mouse close as well is great now a lot of people say to me well Jeremy I work on a laptop there's no reason to say that with your laptop you can't just get Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and then move the laptop further away and have it as just a hybrid screen that's what I always do I try and just have a little small little keyboard Bluetooth keyboard Bluetooth mouse and then when if you're doing any work at home you can do that more tricky on the train I agree or traveling but definitely very good for when you are doing some work at home now the screen so we got the screen here on like a pump arm so you can see I can I can sort of move it forward I can move it backwards, move it up, I can move it down like this. Now, if I start down like this, can you see how my eyes, they're looking down at the screen? Now that's not good. You need to make sure the top of the screen is at your eye level. So I like to have it a little bit higher. So just if my, my eyes there, they're going to about this level on the screen, I would have the top of the screen just slightly higher. It allows me to just get my chin rotated back like this. Some of you may prefer it a little bit lower, but make sure that at least the top of the screen is at your eye level. So we have with that, not too close to me. I'm not gonna get any eye issues. So if there's any opticians watching, it's not too close, I promise. They'll, they'll be having a go. So let's go into the, the lower part. This is probably more important than the upper part. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to see my face on this. So what we need to see is that the knees 
are essentially lower than the hips. So the knee goes down like this. If your knee is up like that and you're sort of slouching like that, I'm exaggerating, it's going to drive a lot of force into the base of the spine. So that's not what we want. So we need to make sure the knees are lower than the hips. You also want to make sure that your heels are a little bit further out than your knees. So if I show you here, because you can't see on the desk, a lot of people kind of sit like that, legs all the way out. That's not good. You want to make sure that the heels are just slightly in front of the knees and you've got a nice bend on there. So the knees are soft, feet are soft as well. A lot of people say to us, what about those footstools? I tend not to use those because they're going to raise up the legs, going to raise up the knees and put pressure onto the hips. So just keep them nice and flat. Make sure you're nice and upright like this. And then most importantly is the hips. The hips need to be driven back into the chair. We can't be slouching forward like that. It's going to cause the, the spine to come into flexion. It's going to cause problems with the base of the spine and the discs. So we don't need that. So putting the bum back, bringing the shoulder blades back, bringing that keyboard nice and close, making sure my torso is tight through here. It's really important that you're sucking your tummy butt in. Keep that core nice and strong. Okay, so those are the starter tips there. Some really easy wins that you don't need to change your whole setup just to make sure you're getting in the best position long term. So really important we focus on those hips. We make sure that those knees are lower than the hips. We're bringing the shoulder blades back, bring that keyboard nice and close and make sure that chin is tucked back in like this. Very often we see people on laptops and they're round shouldered, their heads come forward, it's a lot of pressure on your spine. So laptops, they're great because they're so flexible, you can use them anywhere. And if you're doing long-term work on them, it can cause problems. So my, my biggest thing would be get yourself a second keyboard, Bluetooth mouse, you can probably get them for 15, 20 quid on Amazon. It's going to provide a lot of relief for your body long term. Your body will thank you. So with standing desks, now this is into the stuff where you do need to spend a bit of money. So standing desks are very, very popular because they allow us to be in a position where we can activate our glutes and take a lot of pressure off the base of the spine. So they're very, very effective. Now, if I was to use a standing desk, I would say that you want to start off doing 15 minutes of standing and then bring it back down to do 45 minutes of sitting. Do that for a week and then you go to half an hour, do that for another week, then go to 45 minutes. You're probably going to struggle to stand through the whole day. So I would say 45 minutes in the hour is pretty good to be standing up for. The common pitfall is that when you are standing, people slump over the desk. We don't want to do that. You're better off sitting. So if you do find yourself slumping or getting tired, then make sure you just bring it back down and then go in for a sitting position. If you haven't got the luxury of a standing desk, you can also put some box files underneath the screen, move the screen all the way up and have some box files underneath your keyboard. That can always be great as well. It's not going to break the bank. But there are some very affordable standing desks on the market at the moment. We picked one up the other day. It was an electric one for about £220. It used to be sort of in the four figures above the £1,000 the mark. But there are some really competitive products there now. And I'd highly recommend looking around, searching for some. I'll put a couple in the uh, comments below as well that we use and you can have a look for yourself. We don't get any kickbacks on those, just some things that we recommend. For, for our clients here in the clinic. So hopefully that's been really informative for you. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. If you've got any friends that are struggling with their hybrid working, please share this with them, subscribe to the channel. And also you can grab a copy of my best-selling book here. This is The Secret Cure to Back Pain. So the second edition here, Transform Your Life on Amazon. I'll pop the comments, uh, put the link in the comments below for you. Thanks a lot.